Yeah, it does. Science assumes, science assumes there's order in the universe. Science assumes there's, science assumes there's order in the universe and you're experimenting to look for that order, that pattern in the universe. So, so the fact is, the fact you even engage in science at all, you're looking for uniformity in nature, you're, you're assuming your sense of working properly, you're using to engage in experimentation and to come to the conclusion you're coming to. No, you. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you using your senses to engage in science? No, we, we, our senses are flawed. That's why we no, that, you didn't answer my question. Do you, are you using your senses to engage in science experiments? Try and take our senses okay, so as much as possible. That's what try to take them out? Yes. How can you see something and experiment and touch it and believe it with your eyes and hear it with your ears without using your senses? We use measurements and data. Systems. Which is involved in using your senses. So every time you experiment, you use your senses. And all your supposed knowledge is based upon these experiments you do, which assumes your senses work properly. What do you which, hold on, which, hold on, which you have not proven. And if you're an evolutionary atheist, don't work. if you're an evolutionary atheist, you have no right to believe they're working properly. Because they did not, they did not come, hold on, they did not come about if we by an intelligent being creating them. They came about by millions of years, supposedly, of chance random mutations. Now, who's gonna believe Something like that. Who's gonna believe? Well, I know why you believe because you're a sinner. You love your sin. You say that our senses are unreliable. Why? I didn't say that. Sorry. Why can't we believe that our senses are reliable? Because you're an atheist. That's why. But why exactly? No, no. Explain oh, to me exactly. Well, I just, I just explained to you. Well, step one, atheist. Step two, dot, dot, dot. Step three, prophet. Step four, my senses are reliable. Why do I need? To Syllogism. So, how, how do you? How did your senses come about, young man? How do my senses come about? Yeah. They're an evolved reaction, light sensitive cells, sound, vibration sensitive cells, etc. Okay, so give me some proof of why they're reliable. I don't regular, they have predictive power. How do you know that? I don't regularly find myself surprised by the world around me. How do you know that? How do I know? I'm you only know that because you're assuming once again they're true. You're begging the question, the circular reasoning. That's you're not. saying, I know they're true because I use them. Look, they're working. Yes. But you don't know, you're, you have to assume they're true, they're working, no, to know they're working. The thing, when I see a thing, and I feel it come to me, I'm not surprised by it. I don't regularly expect But how do you know that response is actually accurate? You're assuming that once again. The very foundation of all your reasoning, your supposed science versus religion nonsense, is based upon your senses working properly, which you have not proven, and you cannot prove. And you have no reason to believe they're working properly. I proof for you that my senses are accurate. But there is no proof you can provide for me. That's the fact. Hold on, so there would be nothing I can say that can prove to you that my senses are accurate? Well, I mean, there might be, but I've not heard one yet. Besides the fact that I do not regularly find myself surprised. How do you know that? How do you know that? Circular reasoning. I can state with certainty, I mean, this conversation. How do you know you're stating with certainty? How do I know that? Yes, you're hearing with your ear? Yes. You're speaking with your mouth? Yes. With your senses? Yes. How do you know they're working properly? Because I'm getting ideas. Begging the question. Tangentially related. To you're begging the question all throughout. Everything you're saying is begging the question. So there's no begging the question, you see. We're no, that's begging the question, yeah. man. So your problem is not science. Your problem is philosophy. You don't have a love of wisdom. We're you changing have... ideas. We have to be. How do you know that? How do you know that? You don't know your senses are right. How do you know they're No, right? I do. That. I knew they're right. I do know they're right. And I have reason to believe they're right. Well, I have reason to... The reason I have to believe that my senses are working properly because they are created by an intelligent being. That is a proper foundation oh, okay. for believing. Hold on, hold on. Proper foundation for believing. Well, I have reason to trust my senses are working properly because that intelligent being gave them to me. He created them. Hold on, listen to the answer. I'll let you respond. Listen to the answer. He gave me. Now, if I'm... My senses came about by chance, random mutation over millions of years. I have no reason to trust them any more than I would trust a, a watch that was put together by nothing over millions of years to tell me the right time. Let alone my eyes to tell me that that's green and this is cement and this is my hand and that you have a blue shirt on. I have no reason to believe that. Well, but I mean, special about blue. I didn't say there was. I'm just pointing out that I have no reason to trust that if I believe what you believe. So the, the sure proof that God exists is this, the impossibility of the contrary. If God doesn't exist, you can't know anything for sure. And that's where you're at right now. You don't know anything for sure because you're trusting your senses, which you don't know are reliable and trustworthy.
So you don't know anything for any kind of certainty. I'll trust my senses far before I trust that book. What's that? Be sure that I'm speaking right now. Can I be sure that I'm speaking right now at this moment? Not as an atheist, you can't, no. Why do you say that? I've heard it giving you all the answers, young man. No, but I disagree. I'm an atheist and I'm sure I'm speaking right now. Well, you can disagree all you want, but one thing you'd have to come to the conclusion on if you're going to be honest with yourself is that you're being inconsistent. Okay. Nonsense. Yes. I know I'm speaking. No, you know, how do you know that? How do you know that? Because you're responding to it. How do you know that? How do you know that? I'm term speaking. I can feel my, I can feel my throat vibrating. I can hear the sound. That's all, that's all senses. That's what these things mean, right? Like, so once again, once again, okay, the short, no, no. once again, here's the fact. Fine, he assumes his senses are working in order to prove they're supposedly working and that's where he gets all his knowledge from. Now if you want to trust that as a source of knowledge, good luck to you. But I'm going to tell you this, the source, the true source of knowledge is the absolute God of all the universe, the God of the Bible, the God of the scriptures, who commands all men everywhere to repent because there's coming a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness. Jesus Christ died